Hi folks, it's Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a demo on how to add totals and subtotals to a Microsoft Reporting Services report. So in terms of an overview, um, I'll talk about the goal of uh, this tutorial, um, then talk about the steps to adding both totals and subtotals in that order, and then I'll do a live demo to show you, and then I'll just talk a little bit about, a little bit about additional learning resources for SQL Server 2008 and 2000 and 12. So the goal of the tutorial is fairly self-explanatory. Um, I'll first of all I'll just create a simple tabular report and then I'll add totals and subtotals. Um, so subtotals occur within a group. So here we're going to group them within calls, um, within picks and within text. So this is obviously um, teleco, uh, telco spending da uh, spend data and we're also going to add a total down the bottom. So in terms of the steps, um, we'll create this um, simple tabular table with the report wizard within reporting services. I've done that before in one of my previous demos, but it only takes a, a minute or two, so I'll, I'll repeat that so we have a good, uh, so everyone's on the same page in terms of where we start. Um, next step is to add the grand total to the report. So all you need to do is click on the, uh, the uh, charges, right click it and just uh, and say add total. That's as as um, hard as it is to add, to add a total. So very very simple. Um, in terms of adding subtotals, a little bit less intuitive. So what you need to do is select the row here, then um, click add group, and then add a parent group. After that, you ne then need to um, add a uh, add a group footer. And then group by the usage types. So that's the um, fixed text calls um, categories that I mentioned before. Um, that will then create a new empty line. We then add an expression to that, and uh, we uh, create an expression using this um, ex expression wizard. So we um, add an aggregate, and we add in the relevant fields, which is the the charge field, which we're going to um, sum and then that adds in the subtotals. So the only thing um, at this last step that I almost missed here was just adding in a row name. So adding in a row name called subtotal and then a row name called total. Okay, so just to get going with the demo, first of all you open up Business Intelligence um, Development Studio, um, go File, New Project, we're going to make uh, a report server uh, project wizard. We're going to create that. I'll just call this report. Server. I'll just I'll just call this um, totals. Click OK. This will then open up the wizard, the report wizard. So first thing we need to do is create a new data source, um, and I'll just call this call call data. So I have this information sitting within SQL Server. So I want to uh, first of all create a connection string to that um, data source. So my server name is called, uh, I just need to actually remember what that is when it'll come up in a second. Yep, there's Fox, that's me. I'll then click on the learning database, click OK. We could make this a shared data source if we're doing multiple reports that we want to uh, run off the same data source, but we won't worry about that for the moment. Click Next. So now we need to select the data which is going to go into the report. Uh, into the report. So I know that all the information is in the calls um, table. So I'm just going to add that in, close that, select all the columns, and that's all good. Okay, so then go next. We're going to create a tabular report in this case rather than a matrix report. Click next. So in terms of the design of the table, we're going to have the person's name at the top of the page and then the, um, the what are we going to have, the usage type. So whether that's a text or a, or a voice call. We're going to have the date in which that call was made, the time it was made the number they called, and then the charge associated with it. So then we click Next. Let's just format this as an, an Ocean format. That's just where the report server is, um, which I could then deploy to. Go Next. Let's just call this 
totals and then finish so this will create a, create our basic report um, it'll be a bit rough normally when they when it's first created but here we go here's the report for Larry Bird here's the one for Magic Johnson and there's the one for for a spud spud web so that's all good you could actually just get rid of this totals there because that only I've got it set up so it only occurs on the first page so there we go right so in terms of the design side of things to add the uh, grand total we just click on the charge right so right click click on the cell so you don't want to select the actual the um, the charge name you want to select the actual cell so right click it and then you go add total preview so then this adds the total down here obviously no formatting at this stage so that's all good so what we want to do now to add, add the subtotals we select the row right click the uh, the row go add group add parent group we want to group by within so this is within each individual's name we want to group by the usage type we're going to add a group footer so that's basically the row at the bottom where we're going to add the subtotal click OK now we've got this new row we right click that uh, click expression we're going to add our expression here so we're going to go down to common functions we're going to go aggregate <coughs> excuse me sum so we double click on sum it'll go up the top now we want to go up to fields so these are the fields that are in the report we're going to click charge and then we have to close this expression and that will be the subtotal there so this is the simple subtotal so this is we'll click on now we want to say subtotal in the cell and total in the cell so just type it in total type in subtotal here um, so there are a few additional formatting things we do so we could click on the cell and go um, text box properties let's turn it into from a default into a currency so that then will say in dollars we do the same thing with all of these um, cells always miss one but let's do that and then we've got the one up the top as well which is the actual detail oh, select the cell as opposed to the information inside it um, go blank blank text box properties that's right number currency okay so that's pretty good so let's just preview that so here we go we've got calls we've got the subtotal for calls and then we've got a total down the bottom and then we've got that for each of our three uh, three individuals so that is pretty much um, that's pretty much it so very quick introduction into totals and subtotals um, if you found this um, this uh, exercise useful um, come across to my website analytics in action or subscribe to my youtube channel so my youtube channel um, is um, you just uh, type in Steve Fox 1973 or of course you can just if you're watching this on YouTube just click the subscribe button there um, and that way you will get updates every time I produce a new um, video on business intelligence um, the other option is to come across to my website um, where I've got uh, the stacks and stacks of information on SQL Server and business intelligence in general so lots and lots of um, videos um, here so all sorts of things such as um, yeah like, like I mentioned integration services reporting services uh, analysis services um, also a little bit of stuff on a little bit of um, information on Transact SQL as well and just learning uh, business intelligence in um, in general so um, definitely subscribe to the um, either YouTube channel or come across and see my um, website if you want to learn a bit more